In this video, I'm going to show you how to find Midra, the Lord of Frenzied Flame, the same dude you saw from the trailer for the DLC. I'm going to show you how to get here. You have to start at the Shadow Keep. Now I'm going to guide you on the exact pathway that you need to take, starting from the Main Gate Plaza, Site of Grace. All you have to do is follow along with me. You'll see in the area where we are, there is a ladder that we can go ahead and use. And if we go ahead and we look where this water is on the right hand side, you'll see that we can go through here and this will reveal another ladder. Now don't jump down there, it is a long, a long fall. Once you're down here, you're going to proceed to the east and you'll see you'll find a painting that is over there and a wall that you can go ahead and attack, which will reveal this passageway that you can follow. Then you're just going to go down the stairs over here, follow the water. You will see there is a coffin waiting for you and all you have to do is go ahead and rest in the coffin. This will bring you to the bottom water location, which if I show you on the map in a second, I'll show you the side of grace where we're just about to unlock here at the Skadu Altus. So this is located right over here for your reference. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to head south. When you get to this waterfall, we're going to the left side. You'll see there is a Site of Grace here, and for reference, here it is on the map, just like this. We're going to continue south. Up at this part over here, we're going to jump across to the right-hand side of the cliff and keep progressing south. You can fall down here, you'll see there is a new Site of Grace for you to go ahead and collect or rest at. This location is over here on the map as you can see. And now if we head southeast, you'll see there are some like stones that we can use to jump down and get down this cliff over here. So just go ahead and jump down all of these. Once you get down, you're going to face towards the south and you'll see there's more of them that you can keep going down like this. So just keep heading down. You'll see if we head southeast to the next waterfall, on the left hand side there's more stones to keep going down. So from this location over here you'll see there's some stones and then this one is going to require you to go a bit of back and forward. Once you get down here you're going to face towards the east and you're just going to go ahead and hug the wall on the left and you'll see there is a catacombs entrance over here where you can go through. Now this one is actually kind of straightforward, you're just going to keep progressing until you come out on the other end. After about three lifts, you'll exit the catacombs and you'll see you'll have to do a boss fight. Once you defeat this boss site, you will get a site of grace called the Forsaken Graveyard. And from this location, we're going to basically progress all the way to the next site of grace, so it's just south of where we are right now. And then we're going to go all the way to the west and then south. So just following with my cursor here, it's not super accurate, but I am going to run this pathway and I'm just going to speed it up so you can follow along with me. Essentially, we're just following the open water, like you're just going to go down the open water. So here we are making our way to the second side of grace here. So normally you'd get the map fragment by following the road down to the left. We're going to go to the right, which is west, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to run along the water. You should run straight up to another site of grace and then from here you're actually going to go south from this next site of grace. You're going to go south and then just follow the water and it will curve around and slowly point you again towards the west and you can just 
stick with the water. Now you're going to head into like this mist and oh my god, there's going to be an enemy that you can't attack and it's going to attack you the entire time. Here, don't even bother fighting it. I tried fighting it. It's going to afflict you with madness and it's going to hit you over and over. You just want to head west the entire time. I recommend setting like markers like you can see I have on my map here so that I can follow them still through the fog. And you're just going to have to dodge as this enemy attacks this entire time. Eventually it will stop following you. You just have to make it further into the west area here. You can see it stops attacking me from this point. And from here, we're going to go ahead and go around this rock over here. So we're going to head west and we're going to slowly head southwest around here. And then we're going to loop up back towards the south after I just defeat these enemies quick. You can see here, we're going to follow this enemy up this pathway here, goes towards the east up here, and then it goes behind this little cliff that was blocking us, and we can continue heading south. From here, it's really straightforward. You can already see the big manor in the distance, and you just have to pretty much run towards it and go ahead and make your way inside. There will be a Sight of Grace as soon as you open up the door. You'll see it's literally just in front of you. And then from here, I'm going to guide you through this entire mansion or manse to show you where to find the boss as well as all the sites of grace. So just go ahead and follow along with me. There will be a painting on that wall that you can go ahead and break to go through here. You're going to run to the end of the hallway. You're going to turn right. You're going to then go into this room. You're going to take the first lift. Then you're going to head to the end here, turn right. Then turn right again immediately, go back to the back corner here. You'll see there is a lever that you can go ahead and pull and this is gonna move a bookcase that's just behind where you were. So right here, you'll see in this area, you'll find a ladder, not really too hard to find it. Once you go up here, you're just gonna go through this room to the west, gonna go right and you're gonna go up the ladder. So just keep heading this way. Then you're just gonna head along the beams and you're gonna go towards the west and you're gonna stay on the beams and you're gonna go to that side of grace that you can see up ahead. From this site of grace, you're going to go ahead and jump onto this thing. You're going to turn around and you're going to face towards the east and you're going to go through the pathway to the east. Another painting, go ahead and break it and go up the staircase. You'll see there's a ladder involved as well. You can go ahead and use the ladder. You're going to pull this lever as well. Then you're going to jump down here just at the bottom here. You're going to face towards the west and you'll see there's a bookcase moving, revealing a pathway behind it. You're going to go through it and then you're going to go up the stairs. You're going to go left. And you're going to go through the door immediately or you can fight the enemies it's up to you once you're in this room you're going to head to the other end as well so just go through here and then you're going to get the sight of grace here and this is pretty much most of the journey this is the lost sight of grace before the boss the boss can be found towards the east and then you're going to take a right turn over here and you'll find the boss there waiting for you to fight it and i wish you guys good luck and thanks so much for watching